Hey everybody, just a short clip on Todd White and his prosperity confusion of tithing and receiving. And I'm going to answer the question, is tithing for today? Robert Morris is labeled in that same category. Like he's just a prosperity preacher. He's one of the most amazing speakers I've ever heard on tithing and offerings and stuff, bringing up biblical truth that is so ridiculously crazy, it's actually scary. That blessed life, never ever read anything like it in my whole life. And if you can't be a person that is a tither or an offer, you limit yourself, you're stopping yourself from receiving God's blessing. Why? Because why would God bless you when you can't even be a steward of what you have? And if you can't be a person that is a tither or an offer, you limit yourself, you're stopping yourself from receiving God's blessing. You're stopping yourself from receiving God's blessing. Okay, there's two things wrong with what Todd says. Actually, many, but we'll just focus on the two things in this clip. The first thing, he says that if we don't tithe, we are stopping ourselves from receiving God's blessing. So if we don't tithe, God won't bless us. How about all of those people that are stone cold broke and can't tithe? They can't even feed themselves. Not to mention that what he says is nowhere in the Bible. And the second thing is that tithing is Old Testament. First fun fact is that tithe in Hebrew means tenth, although people usually gave closer to 20% if you do a more in-depth study on this. Second, the tithe is tied to the land of Israel received under the Old Covenant and referred to crops and livestock. And third, there is not one mention of tithing in the New Testament. Should we give to the church? Yes, of course. In fact, we're told in many verses to support those who shepherd churches and preach the gospel. But in 2 Corinthians 9, 7, it says, Each one should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not out of regret or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So give what you can because you want to, not because you feel you have to. That's what truly matters to God. Yet all these prosperity preachers make it about the giving and receiving trade-off. Truly sad indeed. So yes, give to your church as you can and do it with a joyful heart. And until next time, take care and God bless.